Anyway, there's another video on objections. Uh, I was gonna do a video on diacritics, but writing in Arabic and Japanese are pretty harder than they look, and I don't feel that I switched my keyboard around. Um, yeah, I can see this. My stomach is falling. Now let's see. Objection. Oh, the pain. Anyway, the objection. This objection is on calls for narrative, open ended questions, um, compound questions, speculations, and argumentative. Actually, no. Calls for, narr calls for narrative, speculations, and compound questions. Calls for narrative is when you make it a long-winded um, objection as a t when you can't be too long or else it overuse the time frame the court has and the witness is going on and on and stuff like that. Uh, attorney one says, you slept with him, didn't you? Witness says, but I did, but I didn't, I did, but I didn't. 30 minutes later, objection, your honor. This attorney two saying that objection, your honor. Calls for narrative. The person or he or just being a long, long, long time. Mm. And then there's speculations, which is mind reading. The cop pulled me over. Why did the cop pull me over? Attorney one, the cop pulled you over, honor. I mean, attorney asked the witness, why did the cop pull you over? Objection, your honor. Calls for speculation. Speculation is more like mind reading, knowing one's thoughts, knowing one's intention ahead of time. Oh, that's within your knowledge, within her or his knowledge. She or he cannot be a mind reader. I am not a mind reader. I am a mind reader, but you know, I don't need to use that ability. Here's another one. Um. Uh, why did he go to a store, pay with cash, and not in a credit card? Objection. Call for speculation. That's what the attorney would say. Because I don't know why he's going to a store buy a credit card. And if I did, I, you could still object to it, like I said. Then there's compound questions. Sometimes compound questions can be as all right. Sometimes combined questions can be asked in one thing when it deals with a similar meaning that it's of the same degree. When you ask two different questions and one has totally an opposite field, if you can object. You can object both, but sometimes they won't put one in. When you ask two different questions, you cannot you can object that. Here's the one you can object. Um, me as these people are objection. How do they know my information? And how do they know your information? And how did they how do they know my information and where they got it from? That's a compound question, but it goes with the first question, which you can ask, but in some cases you can. And the second information is I'm always put this into practice. Um how do they wear red pants and wear a blue shirt, but no and also know the answer to my questions. That's a compound question. That's just totally opposite size, like irrelevant or hearsay. Objection of narrative, long testimony, or just bad general witness, speculation when it's something that you had to mind read, and then there's compound questions. 